Okay, there we go. Uh, what made you want to join this movie? Um, I like Jamo Belaguero um, work. I've seen I've seen it in the part in the in the past. I um, and I and I thought it was a very um, kind of smart movie that would be entertaining. I liked the fact that it was all public oriented um, as well, and it was a very different movie from the previous movies I did in the past regarding um, like the, 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 the movies were very different and uh, and I thought it was very more new too. And, and I like, and I really like uh, Lorraine as a character and, and I really like the, the challenge of um, trying to um, make her very special We'll try to make her special a little bit. Yeah, that I mean, like that, which that's awesome. That leads me to my next question, which is, uh, uh, what was your sort of process and your favorite part about like bringing the character of Lorraine to life? Um, it was quite tough. Um, I had a lot of um, accent work. Um, on on Lorraine, I try to give her like a very specific vo like um, voice, a very specific um, yeah way of talking. She um, and and she was she's almost like a like a secret weapon to Walter and um, she and she she's she's sort of that and um, and 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 she's always like this unexpected person during the film and it's 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 a little bit how I developed the character and to just make her where you don't expect her a little bit and um, but it was quite tough because, because at first when I, 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 I agreed to the to do the film, I thought the movie was, um, like, um, um, a little bit um, filmed in 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 um, in England. In a, in a in an English speaking country, and um, it ended up being uh, filmed. Uh, fully in Madrid, and it was quite challenging for me to be uh, working on an on an English speaking character um, in my my um, birth country, with everyone around me speaking Spanish all day long. Because obviously, all the cast is, for the most part, um, English speaking, like Axel and and. And there's like Wisto Sartu and, and Jose Coronado who are um, um, Spanish. But my, my main um, uh, co-stars are all English, but the entire crew was Spanish and would obviously address to me in Spanish, which was something very hard for me. And like, I remember one of the first things I I did was when I met Jama is, is I said, I'm sorry, you're gonna hate me, but I, I can only speak to you in, in, in English because there's no way I will be able to deliver you Lorraine the way she is um, if, if, if I speak to you all day in Spanish. So I tried to keep that. And also I had all this like the fact that she disguised herself into this like Italian woman in the beginning is something that we found later. Um, it was not originally there when I agreed to do the film and it's something we added later and it's something that I had to develop, which was really hard for me. It's if it wasn't for like um, some of my previous work I did in Italian, I it would have been really hard because something is to create an accent 
um, in your main language and something is to create a different accent than the one you have. Like, obviously me, I can work on my accent to just go more towards a British or towards um, an, an American accent, but obviously doing like something that it's a foreign accent, but not mine, mine, my own is um, very, very hard to do. And so it was quite a challenging part for me. Well, I mean, I think that you did a great job in just playing this character and like, especially with your accent, I, I wasn't even able to tell that, that like you were sort of playing that character. And so I wanna compliment you for that. And I also wanna ask, um, what was it like working on this set with Jama Balaguerro and all of these actors? Well, each of them is, is very different, you know? And, and I think, um, it was, it was, uh, you know, I, I've got to say it was not so easy sometimes to find, um, um, you know, I was, I was the only woman for the most part, Famke's there, but it's not when, when the group is, is acting together, it was only these men characters and myself and like my, my, my Lorraine character. And it's, it's, um, it was really interesting to just have her like integrate the, the group as another character and not only the woman of the group. And that was really interesting. And, and so that I was only able to just do um, together um, integrating myself to like how the group and what everyone had uh, put together for their characters, for their respective characters. Jama is a very sweet, um, intelligent um, director who's very, um, I would say very patient, very respectful um, um, he tried to just, um, always, uh, satisfy everyone as a coherent group. Um, talking about actors as, um, I'm talking about actors as well as, um, crew. Um, and, um, and, and about my, um, the, the, the rest of the cast, it was, um, you know, um, Freddie's a very pleasant person to work with. He's extreme, he's, um, you know, he, he knows his instrument very, he's really sharp as an actor. He, he, um, he knew ex exactly what he wanted to give and to put together for the part. And he was really, um, um, really precise. And it's, it's always really, really pleasant to work with some somebody as precise same uh for walter i um i have a special um admiration for Luis Tosar. who's so like besides the actor i i i, I thought you know it, it's he's he's to me he's like this um character you get really attached to like he's the sensitive um the sensitive one and I and I really enjoyed um, seeing him work. Um, I, I've got to say, and Sam was um, um, really helpful for me. He really helped me out. Um, sometimes it was really difficult, um, um, and um, and he was um, he was uh, really helping everyone and uh, really pleasant to work with. I I, I think it was a yeah. In general, it was a very um, uh, peaceful, respectful, focused um, set. Well, that's awesome. I mean, <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, a, a lot of like your camaraderie really shows like, you know, because like this whole movie is about this team of people who are trying to uh, break into this vault. And I mean, since this is a heist movie, like I got to ask, have you ever stolen anything in real life? No. Never? Not that I want to tell you. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, don't, 
don't don't uh, say anything that will get you in jail. All right. Um, now, what is your favorite role that you've played in your entire career? I um, it's a weird question. I um, I, I you know I. There was this first, the first lead character I had to play was this very um, intense, really um, determined and, and like really active and really um, um, creative and with, with a strong personality character and, 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 and I had it, it was like a, a movie for TV. Um, uh, it was a historical piece, and I was, I had the pleasure to, to just co-star Ariana Gil, who's like an amazing um, um, Spanish actress, and 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 a lot of like, and then a lot of um, um, incredible actors um, all around us, um, and uh, French for the most part. And um, and it and it's a character that I I learned a lot because I um, I had to work something with my accent like something that like for instance I worked on with Lorraine and years later I used it again it's just how I how can I how am I the best at catching an accent from and and this is something I learned working on that job. And, and, and the fact that she, the, 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 this character, her name was Isabel, um, grew, was, um, grew, she grows up a lot during the film, like 10 years pretty much passed between the, the, the first scene and the last scene with me on camera. And, and it was, it, it was really, it, I, I, I learned a lot. On, on with her, so I have a um, a special um, I have a special feeling towards her, obviously. Wow, that's awesome! I mean, I, I'm I'm definitely interested in uh, exploring a little bit more about your career, and I I do want to ask: Is there anything that you're currently working on or would like to do next? Um, I, I just, um, until, until like things are not properly, like right now, right, I, I, I found the like period of time very bizarre regarding this. Like for instance, wait, um, the vault now, um, because that's that's the main name of the of the the new name of the movie. It used to be called Way Down. Sorry for that. Um, it it was supposed to uh, be released um, six months ago or so, and I, I feel really um, I don't feel comfortable about talking what's next in the future. Besides, um, until like it's already here, because who knows. Who knows what's up in one month and who knows what's up in six months, you know? Right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely oh, very... I, I, would, I would hold on to this. Right. Yeah, and we'll see each other again, perhaps for it. Yeah, hopefully, because I mean, The Vault is coming out. Uh, and I mean, I, I would like a lot of people to watch this movie because uh, it's it's very, very exciting, and I think you did a great job in it. I had a great time interviewing you today, and uh, to everyone watching, The Vault comes out on demand and in select theaters on March 26th. Um, thank you so much, and have a great day. Thank you.